Hello everybody, welcome to a video where I'm going to be showing you guys how to import Thug Pro levels into Rethought. I've already done quite a few, same with this Crypt VK person. If you go to the thpsgoat.com slash mods, and then you click documentation, you're going to want to click on remap. There's probably going to be more of these in the future, more tools, but for now, since it's just remap, we're just going to click on this, and then we're going to go scroll down. You're going to want to get node.js so you can go to their page, click download, and then there's Windows installer. And this will pop up a whole thing for you to install. Go through that. Once you have that, you want to go down to download scene converter and you're, it's going to download that whole thing. Same with node QBC. You're also going to want a underground two copy. So have one of those. Once you do that, you want to download remap. Once you have those installed, you will have these three folders. You want to put them in a specific area. From here, you're wanting to go to Annex Scripts Master TH Remap. Go here, go deep into here, and then you will find some files. You will see config.json.example. You want to copy that somewhere, put it somewhere. Once you have that, paste the copy into here, and then rename that to where it's just config.json. From here, you want to open up config.json with notepad and you're going to have all three of these things and it's going to say a default area of where these are which is the scene converter path which is this folder you want to go deep into here go to scene converter and then you want to copy the path so click here copy path and then you want to highlight just the default path don't highlight the quotes or anything else and just paste it and then you're going to want to do the same thing with node qbc from here just go here copy path, highlight just the path, paste that, and then thug2 data path. So wherever your underground2 is, since mine is here, I already have that pasted and all of that, so it's right there. From here, you want to save it, close it. From here, you want to find some map that is from THPSX, any map that's for Thug Pro. In this case, I'm going to be using Paper Mill by Sadden. So go ahead and download whatever map you're trying to do. Have a designated area for your user folder, and then you're going to have to go deep into the remap folder and then drag and drop the user folder into the convert.bat. You're going to have to wait for this to finish. It's going to be converting it from a Thug Pro map to a Rethought map, and it may take a little while, so be patient with it. Once it's finished, and it says conversion finished with no errors, press any key. If it has an error, go ahead and go to the 10k rising discord and ask for help. Go into the user folder, go into Thaw, and find your paper mill, or what, you know, find the folder that it is for you. Go ahead and find your maps folder. That's in the game, data, mod, user mods, maps. Either copy and paste it or drag and drop it. Open up Rethought, go to Free Skate, and find your map. It's right here, so I'm going to click and open, and you have been able to fully convert this into here. Vert works, grinds work, wall rides work if the map has wall rides. Now, here's the extra step. If you want to add a thumbnail and a loading screen, you're going to want to take any photo, in this case, I'm just going to take a photo just like this. May not, might not be the best photo, but it's fine. Go to whatever photo making software you have and go ahead and drag and drop it. You're going to want to export it. I use a 1600 by 900 because that's what Zedek does. So I'm just copying him. Find your user, thaw, paper mill, or whatever. It's not paper mill for you unless you're doing this map as well. And go ahead and name this, since it is the loading screen, load scrn underscore whatever the map is. So it's paper mill. And then I'm going to paste the same image. Or you can use whatever image you want, but I'm pasting the same image and just putting it somewhere. And then this is the thumbnail. So it's going to be called thumb underscore the map name. And then I use 512 by 512 since that's what Zedek uses. From here, you want to open up level.ini, make a new line and call this level thumbnail. The first L of level needs to be capitalized and T for thumbnail needs to be capitalized equals thumb underscore paper mill since that is the name of it do not put dot png make a new line call this loading screen it needs ing and l is capitalized and s is capitalized equals load s c r n underscore the map name no png is in there and then save this go back into the game after you've put that all in and then go to your map and you'll see there's a now a thumbnail and now there's a loading screen. And just like that, I am done with that. Now when it comes to uploading a mod, you want to go to thpsgoat.com slash mods, go to upload mod, name it whatever it is called, and it's called Paper Mill, so I'm naming it Paper Mill. I'm going to be crediting the person that made this. Original map by Sadden. 
And you really want to credit the people that have actually made the maps because or else you are a big jerk and no one will like you for that one. You can describe it more if you want since I don't really have anything else to add other than I want to credit the person. You can go select a category since this is a map. Scroll all the way down for map mod. And then this is very important. Either you can just uh, click and then go to WinRAR and make a .rar file out of this. Or you could be a nice person as well and do maps as a new folder. Drag that in there and then make this its own rar file. And then rename this to paper mill or whatever the map is for you. Either you can choose the file or you can drag and drop it into there. I'm one that likes to drag and drop it into here. And then this is where you find your image for the preview and then three other preview images. Now I've made three random screenshots and they have to be under three megabytes. They cannot be more or else they will not work. Check if everything is correct. Since it is, I'm gonna go ahead and submit. And now it is uploading. And just like that, it is uploaded. And now you can test it out by downloading the zip to see if it is good. Since I have no problems, I'm, pr I'm very happy. And that's all there is to it. If this was helpful, like, comment, subscribe. Ask more questions if you need them. There's also 10k rising discord. And that's about it. I'll see you in the next video. Stay goaded.